up folks welcome back part two of vegas reopening series and we are doing my favorite hotels best hotels i'm not really sure what to call it but we're starting right here right here at the delano All right, I'm starting at the Delano because I think this hotel, it is connected to the Mandalay Bay, so it could be considered a casino resort, uh, but most for, for the most part, it's just a hotel. Uh, but I think it's the most family-friendly hotel that you can get in Las Vegas. The Delano maintains two entrances, one from the parking garage and the other coming in from the Mandalay Bay. Both entrances are well-kept and present you with a very welcoming atmosphere. The smoke-free environment, in combination with the fact that the hotel was built in 2003, maintained the furniture and decor in a still modern appearance. The lobby hosts three lounge areas. One, a cafe for coffee, tea, pastries, and other snacks. The obligatory lobby bar. And Della's Kitchen, which may or may not open before the summer is out. For those sports fans out there, the Mandalay Bay hosts a sports book which can be easily accessed just past the Michael Jackson One Theater. With Mandalay Bay connected, you can easily access two great restaurants like Lupo and Citizens. While the Light Nightclub is currently closed, I would expect it to be reopened mid to late July. The Delano's location puts you and your family in an excellent spot to access everything available at Mandalay Bay, Luxor, and the Excalibur via the sky tunnels that connect the resorts. The next stop on our tour is right here at the Bellagio. Now, I really like this one and it kind of has a special spot in my heart because this was the first resort that I stayed at my first time in Las Vegas back in 2012. It has that kind of upscale feeling without the upscale prices and the interior kind of makes you feel like that all over the place. From the blown glass ceiling in the lobby to the botanical garden to the availability of getting to go to Cirque du Soleil's O, that's the, the water show. It's, uh, it's very good and it's pretty famous. Built in 1998, the Italian theme here at Bellagio can be felt everywhere from fountains and plants to the statues in Florian. It really can make you feel somewhere exotic. One of my favorite bits is the flower blossom ceiling made from blown glass in the lobby. If the architecture doesn't take your breath away, the conservatory surely will. Changing five times a year, it features a design for each season and the fifth celebrating the Chinese New Year. Your food choices at Bellagio continue the Italian immersion beginning with Lago where you'll have a delicious small plate experience in a casual setting. The Mayfair Supper Club provides an affordable dining experience with an epic view of the Bellagio Fountain whereas at Spago, one of Wolfgang Puck's restaurants, you may have your meal right next to this aquatic spectacle. 
If you're just looking to relax, however, you can find yourself at one of these beautiful lounges. The Bellagio is also home to the Fine Arts Gallery featuring Richard McDonald's art. Although I wasn't able to go into the pool, the majesty and elegance stays true from the cabanas to the furniture and pool design. Number three, one that is very near and dear to my heart, the Mirage. This resort is great and famous because it was actually one of the first all-encompassing resorts built in Las Vegas. That means that you could get a room here and you could get the entire Vegas experience without having to leave the building. They have kind of, um, they call it the essential shop now, I don't know what it was called then, but kind of like bodega style grocery stores, they have restaurants, they have multiple live shows, clubs. This kind of set the groundwork for what casino resorts are today. Let's go take a look at it. The Mirage's Oasis theme is a refreshing experience for any guest choosing to stay here, welcoming its guests with a soothing waterfall outside and a conservative yet beautiful horticulture display on the inside. You know you are likely to have an invigorating stay here. If you're traveling with older children or just want to have a casual vacation, the Mirage provides many food choices like the California Pizza Kitchen, snacks, and Diablo's Cantina. Although not currently open, the Beatles Love Show is rumored to be returning in the fall. As stated earlier, the Mirage was set up to be an all-in-one experience. There are several shops, a spa, a fitness center, a convention center, an ice cream parlor, a coffee shop, as well as Siegfried and Roy's Secret Garden and Dolphin Habitat. Well, that's it. Those are the three, uh, three of my favorites on the strip. Now, obviously, there's a lot more hotels and resorts in Las Vegas. Uh, there's a lot of other places to stay, but these are the ones that I really enjoy. I think, they're, I think they're great. I think they have a lot of good qualities to offer everyone. Um, you know, there's some notable ones that are up on Fremont, like uh, uh, Golden Gate. Uh, that was the first hotel that was actually built in Nevada. Um, there's the D. Uh, Plaza has a pretty good... Uh, reputation I guess but uh, these are the three on the strip that I think are great experiences for everybody to stay at obviously you're gonna go on Yelp you're probably gonna see some reviews that say some pretty negative things I address most of that stuff in the first video of the series um, but you know what uh, sometimes if you having a bad experience all you got to do is ask and if you've never been in or dealt with customer service before you know that it takes patience so uh, I understand that you guys uh, are on your vacation and you want to have a good time but we're all human um, housekeeping they're human uh, accidents can happen mistakes can be made so just remember to take a deep breath try to have a good time with that uh, I'm not sure which part is gonna be next it's either going to be the Fremont Street experience which is pretty popping now that everything is open again the free concerts have started again the street artists are out or we're gonna go down Main Street and I'm gonna show you guys that experience that's um, not your average uh, Vegas experience um, a lot of uh, indie bars um, small breweries micro breweries just a, a different kind of experience it's it's a place I really like going if you guys don't know now you know this right here boom 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 
Um, if you guys can like, subscribe, share is uh, pretty awesome. And uh, you know what? I bet your friends might appreciate it. If they want to go on vacation, they might need the, uh, the information as well. So, you know, there's me trying to get you into subscribing to my channel. Anyway, thank you guys. Cheers. Stay healthy.